Hey guys, welcome back. This week's fragrant review. Ah, <laughs> uh, I forgot to tell you is what I wore this week. I was gonna wear this week. It's a uh, police to be camouflage. I'm assuming by the police to be people. I don't know. Um, here's the box. Skull and police and ingredient list and batch code and QR thing and it's a box. Pretty much just a box. Um, I like the bottles though I do. Uh, they're skulls. <laughs> Alas, fair Horatio, for I knew him well. <laughs> little class for you, little Shakespeare. I think it was from Hamlet. I don't know, I'm not good in Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah, it's a skull though. I think they look cool. Some people say they look a little fucking cheesy and stupid. Each their own. Uh, I like these better than all the mall bottles. But that's just me. Uh, yeah, that's the bottle. It's just a. It's got the police written here, the camouflage all around it, little little dingleberry like one all. Uh, here's your info and all that jazz. It's a little thing. Oh, pulls off. Uh, Give you a little info on this one, then I'll spray it and tell you what I thought of it. <coughs> Hi guys. Uh, Pleased to be camouflage released 2015. Uh, accords are aromatic, sweet, green, woody, fresh, spicy, warm, spicy. Uh, top is a lemon, cardamom, mint, red apple, antelone. Sunny notes, ozone, lavand, la, lavender, whatever, nutmeg, cinnamon, rhubarb, violet. These are all the notes, by the way. Violet, vanilla, tonka, cashmere wood, vetiver, amber wood, orange blossom. Shit ton of notes. Shit ton of notes. Uh, what do I? Let's give you a spray and see what it smells like. It's sweet, slightly aquatic, with a really nice spicy accord. It could be the cardamom. Uh, it, it, it's sweet. Uh, a lot of people compare this one to uh, Invictus. Not Invictus Aqua, but Invictus. Uh, I get that. Pretty similar. Actually, very similar. Uh, I also get a bit of a 1 million vibe off of it in about the mid uh, of course, that's probably the cinnamon and the violet and things like that, florally sweet, that one million has. Uh, right off the top, though, you spray this, you're going to, if you've had Invictus or you any experience with Invictus, you're going to think, boom, Invictus. Uh, it's a very similar, just slightly spicier, I guess. I like it a little better than Invictus. Uh, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Um, longevity, pretty good too. It's a heavily, heavy sweet scent like Invictus, so you'd expect decent longevity. I got about eight hours out of it. Project it really good for a couple hours. Boss mode, pre-beast mode for a couple hours. She was out there. Uh, I wore four sprays. Boom, 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 boom. And away I went. Um... Lots of compliments with this one this week. Got about seven. Um, I expected it because Invictus gets you lots of compliments. This will too. Uh, age ranges again from women as young as 18, 19, all the way up to about 60. <laughs> Girls I work with and one fella said it was nice. Um... Yeah, I mean, it, was, it is what it is. It was a nice scent. Um, I don't really have too much more to say about it. Um, picked it up for like 20 bucks, I think, at Shoppers Drug Mart. Maybe 30 Can't remember now. But it was at Shoppers. Um, so it's it's a discounted one. I could probably find it. Places like Marshalls and TJ Maxx and Winners and shit. Uh, 
that's just a nice scent. I don't I don't really have a whole lot to say about it this week. Um, if you like Invictus or you like them sweet, sickingly loud sweet scents, it's, it's a good one. Uh, good for the club, definitely, because uh, it's got that familiar vibe of like Invictus and One Million that people know, but there's just actually a little even a little bit more than just a hint of spice. There's a bit of spice in this sucker. Um, like I said, uh, I don't know really what it's coming from. I'm, I'm assuming the cardamom, uh, the nutmeg, the cinnamon, and uh, are, are, are coming to play. Uh, I don't know what the hell ozone is. Never really spelled that note before. So, and this has got some weird notes in it. Like I said, it's ozone, sunny notes. All right, I knew the sun had a smell, but. Apparently, um, rhubarb. I mean, I've seen rhubarb used in a few scents, usually niche scents or just kind of different scents. But it's used in this one, and you can smell it too. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, cashmere wood, I guess. Uh, just, just an amber wood. That that's a kind of a synthetic, kind of like think I'm Broxen, but more woody toned down. Not quite as sharp and metallic. Um, all in all, though, guys, really nice scent. Uh, good longevity, good projection, compliment factor through the roof with this one. And again, I wasn't surprised. Uh, they kind of took the Invictus DNA and mixed a little bit of one million in with it and then dressed it up with some spices. That's it. A spicy Invictus is what I'm going to call it. So, yeah, get your hands on it. I, I'd recommend it if you like them kind of scents. If you don't like overly loud, sickeningly sweet scents, this ain't going to change your mind. But uh, if you do, like I do, I don't really like One Million, though. It's just the rose in One Million I don't like. It's too rosy. But I do like Invictus, and this is a nice substitute to have. <coughs> Especially since I'm running low on my Invictus. I can wear this instead. It's, uh, it's also a little powdery. Uh, I don't... Was there lavender in this? No, I don't see no lavender listed. So the powdery is probably coming from... The, uh... Maybe the cashmere wood and the, the violet. They can give a powdery vibe. Um, yeah, not a lot of citrus in this. I think there's just one citrus note in this. Uh, lemon, maybe the sunny notes or citrus note, I don't know, but I don't pick up a lot of citrus. I need a bit of lemon off the top, and that's it. But anyway, guys, yeah, that's it. Quick and quick and dirty. I gotta get going. Start the day. My night off. I haven't slept for like 13 hours now, and I'm not gonna sleep till later, so I'll probably be up for 24 at least. Uh, but I wanna get some stuff done today. It's sunny out. So, uh, Next week will be another please. No, wait. That's the week after. Next week is clone week. Let's get back to some clones. What do we got? If it's another fucking the mall clone, we're doing something else. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I'm going to wear this one, but... I ain't gonna like it. <laughs> uh, it's called Sandstone. It's a Tom Ford clone. A clone of Tom Ford Noir Anthracite. Ugh, God. I, rem I haven't smelled it since I bought it, but I remember spraying it and just almost like throwing up a bit. It's gross. <laughs> I put myself through a lot of shit for you people. I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> Alright. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll see. See what I can do with that if I can wear it all week. If not, I'll still give you a review on it, but I might have to switch to something else. It is that gross. Look it up, or I'm not the only one who thinks that shit is gross. Uh, anyway, guys, yeah. Peace, love. Be good to each other.